Well, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office says car break-ins are on the rise this month, and they're asking for your help in identifying a vehicle linked to the crimes. Okay, TV News Watch Evans' Maddie Augustine has more on the crime spree and what law enforcement's doing to help curb these crimes. Maddie. Yeah, Rob, Julie, take a look at this video right now. You can see someone eventually jump out of this car, a dark colored four door sedan and check the door of a vehicle in a driveway. And this vehicle right here is the vehicle DCSO says is involved in recent car break ins throughout the metro. In the span of a week, at least five different vehicles burglarized, spanning across two main areas of the metro a neighborhood near 90th and Sorensen, and another near 156th and Fort. I went to go get in my car about 7 o'clock, and uh, everything was all over my car. My car is normally pretty clean. Uber driver Anthony Kellen, one of the victims. He says, thankfully, his windows were not smashed in, and only spare change was stolen from his Kia. If it's damaged or stolen, it makes it impossible to drive. So then I'd be down to uh, doing one of the other jobs that I do. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office says they believe the same group of people are responsible for the thefts. And they say this dark colored sedan is involved in at least one of the break ins near 156th and Fort. Watch as someone jumps out, checks a vehicle in the driveway before driving down the block where one of the thefts is believed to occur, then driving away just two minutes later. The interesting thing to, to know is it looks like the front tire driver's uh, tire is uh, it's missing a hubcap or it's a spare because it looks darker than the other, so it will stand out if somebody sees it. Every vehicle broken into either a Kia or a Hyundai. They're checking handles if they see anything through the windows uh, that looks like there's value. Um, if the car is locked, they'll just break the window and take it. But DCSO says they don't believe it's an effort to steal these vehicles. It's coincidental that uh, at least three of them were, key, uh, were Hyundais, one was a Kia. And working to end trends like this one, DCSO says they're launching a new overnight task force. It would be a two-man unit that they're all fully SWAT trained, good detectives, investigators that specialize in surveillance and solving crimes. Yeah, here's another look at that vehicle that DCSO is searching for. If you know anything, call the DCSO tip line at 402-444-6000. And DCSO says to always take all valuables out of your vehicle and make sure the doors are locked. More information on that new task force can be found in this story at KTV.com. Back to you. All right, Maddie, thanks.